Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. It is December 1st today. It is time for Christmas. I'm so, 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 so excited. I took a shower this morning because I was feeling extremely yucky and I've been missing my chance to shower at night. Usually I'm a shower at night kind of gal, but with how cold it's been getting, and yes, I know that California cold is not everyone's cold. Um, I love that everyone always has to compare that they're in a colder city, but it's like, I live in California, so this is what it is. This is reality. So for us, yes, it gets cold. I mean, we have dropped and dipped into the 40s now, which is extremely cold for us. I know that everywhere else is colder. I get it. I get it. But we're talking about California. We're not talking about anywhere else. Even in like go up a little bit in California and it's snowing. So I know it can get colder. But this is what normal cold is for us. And I don't like showering at night just because... I feel like my body has gotten a little bit more sensitive the older I've gotten. I feel like, you know, sometimes if I go from hot to cold, hot to cold too often, you guys have noticed I've been getting sick. So I've been trying to avoid showering at night. So with that, I showered now, but I do have to run out the door because, because I'm gonna get a color change. I went from red to cranberry and usually I have like a, I map it out, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna take a little break between the colors, but I went straight from red to cranberry color and I was already starting to second guess myself and like debating if I should go back to get a color change and then this happened. It's like the universe was like, Michelle, I'm gonna give you a reason to go get a color change, but my nail completely broke off. Um, yes, it was extremely painful because these are my real nails. I just have dip on top of them. So my whole fingernail just fell off all because I was trying to take a box out of a box. Um, but I'm gonna go get a color change. I'm probably gonna have to put an extension on this one. Those of you who get their nails done, do you have a staple nude color? I have all the nudes in mind, but I have them all in gel. Like I know them in gel form. And even though it's been years since I've been able to have gel, like I can't unlearn it. And I don't know my dip colors very much because they're all, they're not names and they're like all from different companies. So it's only easy to remember like the OPI ones, but I don't have like a staple nude color that I'm obsessed with. Like I have a variety of nudes, but I don't have like the one where it's like by default, if I don't have a choice, I can just choose that one. I like haven't found the perfect nude. And I know this is like really not that big of a deal, but I'm like, dang it. Now I need to go find a nude that I really, really like. I just wish OPI made like all their gel colors into dip colors because, you know, like put it in neutral was like my ride or die. I can't get that. Um, Tiramisu for two. That was also really pretty in gel. It's not that pretty in dip. Going to biotone i've been going to biotone for like years now years oh my goodness hopefully i can find a nude whoa a pink tesla i've never seen a pink tesla or like that color just finished with my nails it's a pretty nude i chose it's by creation it's in the number b20 um, it was between this and another one. I like it. It's not the exact nude I want. It's a little too salmon-y for me. But honestly, I wasn't gonna know unless I tried, but I'm just glad they're shorter. That's all that matters to me. But they're cute. I am going to Hobby Lobby because I totally thought that I had everything ready to decorate when I get home, but I completely forgot I did not buy a tree skirt. So I'm at Hobby Lobby because they have the little ones and my tree is not a full tree. So we need one of those like mini, mini ones. Oh my God, you guys, that is a long line. A very long line. They don't even have the one that I want. This is reversible from red to white. I'm like, do I want to get in line and buy this? It's $21.99, 50% off. Or do I want to go on Amazon and find one that I really do like? Walking out of home goods because I'm not gonna get something that I'm not happy with. I'm sitting at my desk, um, going to watch a movie. I got a new monitor, I'll show you guys later. I actually, hold on. 
Um, I got a new monitor for my desk. My desk is small, but it was on such a good sale. It is the Samsung uh, 32 inch smart TV monitor and I connect it to my computer. Later on, as like years go by, I will probably eventually get a Mac mini for it. But as of now, it's kind of a cute little personalized, it comes with a little remote. She's a cute remote. Maybe I'm just obsessed because she's white, but I'm going to eat my lunch. I got myself a burrito, huge burrito. Probably not gonna be able to finish it because my God, I did not know it was this big. I also got some rolled tacos, not knowing that this burrito was gonna be this big, but that's fine. I'll share with my brother. I'm so hungry. Oh my goodness, look at that. Mm. I think I'm gonna go get a soda. But today, I know earlier I said, hi, welcome to December, but this is filmed before December. But in order to get ready for December, I am decorating today. I'm so excited, you guys. Mm. We are getting in the holiday spirit, baby. You can't eat anything here, I'm so sorry. I've never gotten this burrito before it's called the California burrito. I think it's a, I think everyone else has heard of it though. I mean, I've heard of a California burrito. I know it has fries in it. It usually has carne asada in it as well, but I asked for it with chicken. How do I, what do I? Holy crap. I also got green salsa because I am a green salsa gal not a red salsa gal. What am I doing with my life? Hold on, I'm gonna bite into it. Mmm. They gave me the wrong chicken, but that's fine. Hi, you guys. I just want to quickly say thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. Today is a very exciting day. I have been working with Dossier for quite a long time. You guys know that. And I absolutely love Dossier. If you are not familiar with them, they make amazing, amazing premium fragrances. They are especially known for making fragrances that are inspired by designer perfumes. I love perfumes, I love smelling good, but what's so exciting about today's package is that they came out with their own advent calendar. I have been waiting to open this. I wanted to open it with you guys. I wanted to see what's inside of it. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. The box is so stinking cute. It is the most adorable thing I have seen. I love the coloring. It says dossier right here. This advent calendar starts at $99. It has 23 sample perfumes of all their best selling fragrances. And you also get a full size of their ambery saffron, which is actually influenced by the Baccarat Rouge that everyone is obsessed with. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh my God. This is one of the cutest packagings I have seen for a advent calendar. I am so excited. I actually want to open mine with you guys because I have never really gotten an advent calendar before. So I am going to open up this first one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <gasps> Look. I wonder what the first one is. This one is the Woody Sandalwood. It's so cute. It's the perfect size for a sample size. Mmm, that smells yum. I think I might even have this one. Woody Sandalwood is actually inspired by Le Labo's Santal 33. This is one of my favorite scents. I'm actually gonna spray some on right now because 
I absolutely love it. It's also unisex. I feel like it looks sexy on women and men all over. I just absolutely love it. Okay, and the big shebang is right here, number 24. I'm actually gonna open her up because I just can't wait. But I am so excited. Oh, where you at, girl? She's hiding from me. This is the Ambery Saffron. This is an amazing price. You can get a whole bunch of different samples you can test out the ones that you really like this is the ambery saffron i think this is a great gift to give someone i feel like this advent calendar is the cutest thing in the whole entire world make sure to grab yourself either a perfume or the advent calendar if you're not sure which ones you like you can get all of their best sellers in sample sizes you guys know i also have a discount code michelle c10 use that to get 10 percent off they also have a bunch of other sales make sure to go check them out you can look at the link down below as well as my discount code. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, you guys, it is time to conquer the tree. I really, really, really want to put it up today because it is all about the feels and I want to watch Christmas movies and I want to turn my lights on. I'm so excited. She's such a cute tree. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna have to order a skirt, so that's not gonna get here until sometime this week, which is fine, even though it would have been nice. Honestly, maybe I'll skip getting a skirt this year because I don't wanna half-ass and get one. Like if I'm gonna pay full price, the only reason I went to Hobby Lobby was because it was on sale and then they didn't have the one that I was interested in. And then now I'm on Amazon, now I'm on Amazon looking for it. And I don't have a problem with the ones on Amazon, but I'm not like absolutely in love with them. And if I have to go and pay full price, I wanna take my time. For all I know this year, I won't even have a skirt. So that's fine. She looks like this. I'm so excited to put her together. Baby, can you move from there, please? That's where our tree is supposed to go. Come, up. Thank you. I also got new ornaments. I don't think I showed you guys. Um, I still have the gold pine cones. Gold pine cones, yes, gold pine cones. Um, and then I have the ornament hooks and um, I got twinkle Yes, I got warm white twinkle dewdrop lights um, to put on the tree. The tree is already pre-lit, but I don't believe that they have any settings. It's just on and off. And so when I saw these at Target, I was like, ooh, I want my tree to twinkle. So I got these and we'll wrap it around the tree. And then you guys know last time when I got the uh, gold pine cones and everything, I got a set of ornaments that were on sale. Um, over time, I just really didn't like it because it just wasn't what I was going for for my tree. So I ended up giving that away to Kim's mom who has a tree this year. And then I found these on Target and these are so pretty, super whimsical and they're glass. So they look just a lot better and they're so pretty, like so, so, so pretty. Let me get it out of the box for you guys. Is that not so freaking pretty? So pretty. I love that they are fluted, but they're all different sizes and different shapes. I think they're so much prettier than the last ones. They are more expensive, obviously. The other ones were five bucks and these were 10 for this. So I got two of these and they were online only from Target. I will link them down below if you guys are interested, but they had to ship them to you and you had to pay like over $35 so be aware of that but I got two boxes of these and then I actually ordered some ivory really thin ribbon and I'm gonna do little bows on the tree as well so it's kind of like a gold champagne -y theme very light very um girly but my ribbons are not here I don't know why they're taking so long to get here but they're not here yet so we'll just add to the tree as it goes, even though I really wanted to do everything today, but we don't have time for that. I debated if I wanted a tree topper, um, like a 
like a like a like a like a oh my god um a star or like an angel or whatever you guys put on the top but I have not found a star that is like pretty enough for me I I just I grew up with a star always being at the top of a tree I know not everyone does it anymore or you can put a giant bow at the top Ooh, maybe I can do that I do have really thick like I have a really 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 thick 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 ribbon maybe I can put like a thick ribbon at the top and then do little thin ribbons I'm not doing too much of them because my tree isn't big enough if I had a bigger tree I probably would but like super small this is what the bottom looks like I'm gonna have to take off that but I think what is going on? Yeah, that's the legs. Not bad. It's not ugly. I thought it was going to be attached, but you actually just slide them in. She's surprisingly big. I didn't think she would be. Wait, let me, let me fluff them in sections. But she's surprisingly pretty big. Holy crap. Wait, she's actually a lot bigger than I thought she was going to be. Oh, my God. She's a very pretty tree, though. They named her. Hold on. It's a specific tree. Hold on. Let me get the name. It says it's a four and a half pre-lit Virginia pine tree with clear lights. It's a very pretty tree. I remember this girl on TikTok was like, don't throw these away because these light fuses or whatever they're called. You've been throwing your lights away. Okay. Clementine, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. What do you think, Clemmy? Do you think it's big? <laughs> Can you guys even see her eyeballs? Do you think it's big, Clemmy? She's so over it. She's like, you yelled at me for running to the window and now you're covering the window. I don't think this is gonna let sunlight. Oh, she's just sleeping. Never mind. She's not even paying attention to me. I really admire the way the tree looks. It's such a good tree. My bestie did a great job. This is from Target. I will link it down below if you guys are interested as well because it's a great personalized tree. She's so cute. I think. I will take good care of her and then and then one day when I'm in my own place, I'll probably put her in the office or my bedroom. She is gorgeous. Look at her. She looks so real. Okay, we're going to spend a good amount of time fluffing. So I did run out of the, the twinkles. I don't know if you guys can see them ever so subtly. I like that they're really subtle. That was the point of it. But I only put them on the front. There's no twinkles on the back. So if you guys see anything, it's because it's, you know, it's reflecting off the mirror, which is really great. But I love this tree. I have been obsessed with a flock tree and this is not a flock tree necessarily, but the tips of it, I don't know if you guys can see the detailing. It's kind of, it gives that real effect, but it also gives that like lighter effect, which kind of makes me think of a flock tree. So I absolutely love it. My mom was like, oh, hey, I have some ornaments that you made when you're in elementary school. Do you want them? And I literally looked at her and I was like, no, those were for you. I do not want them. I have an aesthetic going on, Oma. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I am so glad I got new ornaments. This looks great. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Hello. I just made the ribbon as well. The only thing is I don't know how I'm going to get her up there. I don't know how she's going to stay. I need like a zip tie or a rubber band or, oh, maybe a clip. I can get a clip. You guys know Clem does not use her house unless she is training because that's just Clem for you. Uh, but we put on a red ribbon to make it a little bit more festive. It is actually time to switch out Clem's toys. You guys know I do this 
every so often or seasonal because right now she has still your Halloween stuff. But Tita actually bought you some Christmas toys that I never took out. We also have this cute little vest that you can put on later, but I know you're not interested. We still have this yellow neon vest that we're gonna wear to camp. Yes, because we need to be able to spot you like a hawk. But for now, we will just put away your toys. And we will see them next year. I totally forgot, Kim actually bought her this as well, I think a year ago. Oh no, is it attached? Oh my gosh, so many things attached. But these are squirrels, but they have Santa hats on them. How cute is that? Clem is actually waiting for it patiently right here. Yeah, I know. I think she likes her toys, you guys. Yeah, you like your toy? Do you love your toy, baby? Oh my gosh, this is the first time she's like playing tug of war. She doesn't really understand tug of war that well. The tree is looking so pretty. I definitely am gonna get an ivory skirt and it looks cute with the bow, but I'm going to put little bows everywhere too. I got like a champagne color and a little bit of a like golden champagne color. So I'm really excited for those to come in. I think they come in in a few days. And then I got this from Target. This is the big threshold candle in forest fur. I love it. It smells like the holidays. It's perfect. I got the ginormous one. I thought I heard something. Is that you? Clementine. Hi, baby. She's bullying me because she wants dinner. You're in the mood to play. You're in the mood to play. <laughs> I just found more toys. Clementine, why do you have so many toys? Should we save this one? Clem does not play with all of them. So sometimes I don't like having this many toys out. Maybe I'll save this one and give it to her for Christmas. I'm gonna start the vibes. Hold on, I need to put up the little wicks. They're like laying down right now. Oh yeah. You can't even see it because it's so damn bright. Vibes. Miss Clementine is having her dinner, but we have her bow up. That is a gift basket that I need to put together for later. And then my tree. She's glowing. She's so pretty, you guys. Let me dim the light so you guys can see. Look at her. She looks so good. I can't wait to put the small little ribbons on and then the skirt, and then we'll be done. But that's it for today. I'm so, 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 so happy. So, so, so happy. I have some work to get done, but I'm gonna turn on a Christmas movie so that I can sit and do something. But I love like background noise. Usually I either have like night jazz or Christmas jazz, but since the Christmas tree's up, I'm gonna turn on Santa Claus.